And, and breaking news as we come on the air, a New York City jury found Donald Trump guilty today on all 34 felony counts in the historic hush money trial. Inside the courtroom, the former president showed little emotion as the verdict was read, shaking his head as each guilty was recited. It was a sudden end to what was just the second day of deliberations. We have team coverage tonight. Jeff Harris tracking new reaction to the verdict as it comes in. Atra Elnishar details possible next legal steps. But first, Ryan Smith is standing by at the live desk breaking down the latest in this case. And we first start tonight here at the live desk with a live look right here over New York City tonight where the now convicted former president, he plans to address the nation about that verdict at 11 a.m. tomorrow. He is now the first former president convicted of felony charges. Those 12 jurors finding him guilty on all 34 counts today tied to falsifying documents to hide hush money payments made by Michael Cohen to adult film star Stormy Daniels, all in an effort to influence the 2016 presidential election. Trump blasting the verdict tonight on True Social. He also spoke outside the Manhattan courthouse minutes after that verdict was read. Take a listen. Here's what he said. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg thanking that jury today and stated despite Trump's criticism, it was up to the law to decide. I did my job. We did our job. Um, many voices out there. Um, the only voice that matters is the voice of the jury, and the jury has spoken. A sentencing date now set for right here, July 11th. Judge Juan Mershon will be deciding that. It could include prison time or probation. Now, that falls just four days before the start of the Republican National Convention. Since the guilty verdict was read, millions of people on social media sharing their thoughts on the verdict. The National Desk, Jeff Harris, joining us. See all those responses behind you. Jeff, how have politicians been reacting tonight? We are seeing a lot of split opinions, DDX, formerly known as Twitter, now flooded with tweets from both Republican and Democratic politicians reacting to the decision earlier today. Let's take a look at what's been coming in. House Speaker Mike Johnson tweeting just minutes after the guilty verdict. Verdict. verdict was read, saying, quote, today is a shameful day in American history. Democratic Representative Eric Swalwell writing, quote, Donald Trump is a convicted felon. This verdict is not a win for any single person. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also speaking out, saying, quote, today's verdict represents the culmination of a legal process that has been bent to the political will of the actors involved. And Senator Tim Scott posting his reaction to the verdict as well on X. Take a listen. This isn't just ridiculous. This actually erodes the confidence that Americans have in the justice system. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't use words, but instead posted a photo of an upside down American flag in response to the guilty verdict. And Representative Adam Schiff wrote on X, quote, despite his efforts to distract, delay and deny, justice arrived for Donald Trump all the same. And despite the guilty verdict, most voters say it won't change who they plan to vote for in the presidential election. A recent PBS NPR Maris poll found 67% of respondents felt that way. In fact, 25% of Republicans say they're even more likely to vote for Trump, while 27% of Democrats say they're less likely. As Ryan just mentioned, it'll be about two weeks before Trump is sentenced. The National Desk Atra Elnishar just spoke with a former U.S. attorney about this, and I know Atra, even legal experts, they're shocked about this decision. Joining us live from Capitol Hill, what did you learn? Yeah, Dee uh, well, that sentencing date for July 11th, uh, but this verdict this verdict came down quicker than many legal experts were anticipating, given the, given the complexity of the case. But what happens next is going to certainly be a long, drawn-out process. Uh, and what that's going to look like is the defense and prosecution first will get a chance to weigh in on how Trump should be sentenced. Judge Mershon will ultimately make the decision. Uh, again, we'll learn what that will be on July 11th. So here's former U.S. Attorney John Fishwick. The appeal will start rolling after the sentencing. He can start the appeal process, but that'll the appeals will take uh, years. I think 
any prison time is highly unlikely. After all, this is a paperwork crime from a number of years ago. But nonetheless, there's a risk of prison time. The judge has discretion here. Now, this conviction is not going to prevent Trump from running for president or holding office in the future. And as long as his sentence is on appeal, his ability to vote in his home state of Florida will not be impacted. I'm Atrell Nashar for the National Desk, America's News Now. And we will have continuing coverage of the hush money trial verdict throughout our newscast in our next half hour. More from voters as well as expert analysis about the conviction and what's next for the former president. You can also find 24-7 updates on the nationaldesk.com.